Hey everyone, welcome back to the Dynamic Continuum down in South Africa again. Just got back to our hotel room. Uh, it's nighttime here um, already. It's still morning back home, but nighttime here already um, in South Africa. Um, we're in Johannesburg here today and uh, conferences today and tomorrow with Graham Sate from Australia. Super intelligent guy on nutrients and farming nutrients starting with the soil and how that leads then into plant health um, all the way up through human health super interesting stuff and basically incredibly relevant for us back home as we're just getting destroyed with insects and disease the amount of gray leaf spot and northern leaf blight and goss's will and japanese beetles and everything that we have this year is just incredible and it's all basically because the plants that we're producing, the corn and soybeans, are not able to utilize the nutrients that they're receiving from the soil. They're not able to utilize them, metabolize them into complex carbohydrates and proteins because the disease and the insects are after simple sugars and amino acids and that kind of stuff. Um, and the plants are, we're not giving the plants the balanced nutrients that they need to be able to be efficient and to make the processes work the way that they're supposed to do. Um, which has been really cool now is with the Haney testing that we're doing, with the intense sampling that we're doing, the very in-depth, thorough analysis into our soil, we can actually look at what's going on. We can see better now like we haven't been able to do before. These guys down here in South Africa, they're actually really whooping our butts on doing just that, on looking at micronutrients, looking at balances, getting soil fertility right. And I think that's because they have to. They don't have micronutrients like we do. They don't have the good soils like we do. They don't have soil biology like we do back home. So they have to do better. But they haven't necessarily had all the best tools to be able to assess where they are on the soil. They have to be out there. They have to feel it. They have to look at it and figure out what's going on. Now we're giving them the tools to do things better. They're going for it. They are taking this stuff in full swing. Um, the first conference we were at a couple of days ago, well over 100 people. This one, well over 100 people. They have to cut off the attendance. They have to cap it because the rooms are full and the facilities down here cannot handle that many people. It's amazing, the response. They know that it's a necessity in the future. They're seeing it. They're moving quickly. And we need to back home as well and, um, and work with these guys to do things better. That's what we're trying to do. So stay tuned for that. Hit us up for more info.